Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Crusader Kings Tale. So, at the last, uh, at the end of the last episode, I made a stupid mistake when we needed to fight to get Bohemia back. And, uh, this guy, we, we fought him. Instead of just taking his land, because I do have a claim to it, uh, I'm stupid and forgot, and, uh, I, I did the wrong kind of subjugation where he just became my subject. But he still owns by far the best land in our entire country. So, I want that from him. And there are a few ways to go about that. So I asked at the end of the last episode, give me your suggestions on how I should take this land. And a few people had some different, uh, some different suggestions and I have them right. Let me refresh this page so I can see them again. I have them right here. So I remember that uh, a few people were suggesting the classic old mecha way of doing it, of kill their entire family, truth through assassination till eventually I get voted to me, uh, which I might actually go for that. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, time for to take the kids on a little walk in the forest. Yeah. Uh, gain claims on his land. We actually already have claims on his land. Yeah, it looks like literally everyone is saying, kill the whole family. So, uh, we, we might just do that. We might just do that. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I've been enjoying your CK2 stuff on YouTube, wondering if you'll ever do CK2 with mods. Maybe one day, but probably not for an incredibly long time. There's so much content in the game that I haven't gotten to yet. Right, so I do want to revoke his title, but the thing is I, I can't unless he's tyrannical. So that's actually another way I could get my hands on it, is if I could goad this guy into plotting against me and then catch him. That was something I was thinking about. So what we do is, um, he already doesn't like us because we declared a war on him. Um, but if we were to... Wait, he is... We already know he's killed people. Okay. Um, if I were to... Oh, I can't antagonize him because he's not an adult. Okay. Right. He can't plot on us because he's a child. He's 11, so it'd be five years before he plots. Ugh. I could kill him. His heir is my uncle. What if I kill his uncle first? So, my goal then... Kill him. Once we get an adult... Then, while trying to kill them, we'll also antagonize them to try and get them to plot on us. And if they plot on us, then, and we catch it, then we can try to imprison them. And if we fail to imprison them, war, beat them in the war, and then because they're officially a traitor, we could revoke some of their titles and get the prime land back through that. So, that's pretty good. Uh, if I were to plot to kill him, my possible plot power, not super high. Uh, it'd be higher if I actually just killed the kid himself, right? A little bit higher. Uh, still not great. Now, their people are probably gonna hate them soon because they are in debt and have negative piety and prestige. So they're doing very poorly after that war. Um, hmm. I mean, preferably I'd like to kill his heirs first so that I'm the heir. He's a spy master, though. Oh, he's a horrifically bad one, though. Wow, his stats are terrible. Oh, his stats are horrifically bad. Okay. Okay. I think I will plot to kill him, then. So we're gonna do uh, initial plot power, yeah. And if we look at our list here... Yeah, there are actually a lot of people we could bribe. Okay. People are leaving the defensive pact opposing me, although my threat is high again. Uh, high enough that defensive pacts are going to start based around me. You have a new heir. We get that all the time. Is that same uncle? Okay, well, hold on. If my heir were to be that uncle, the uncle lives, and then this guy dies and inherits that land, then it's all unified again. That's another solution, is just wait and inherit it. I'm 24, though. That'd be a long time waiting. Oh, I can spend 25 gold to get an observatory. Am I a scholar? I am. Scholarship focus. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. We can get some tech out of that. Okay. Why not duel everyone away for the kids to grow and take them out in the forest, kill them with your axe? Uh, we are a decent duelist. But I don't know if I want to rely on that. The sooner I can get the land, the safer it is. Uh, so that's kind of why I want it right away. First of all, this is the only guy I can... That's the only guy anyone will vote for right now is my uncle. Um, is this the kid who owns all that? What's this kid's name? No, they just look the same. Gerhard of Bohemia, my nephew. 
Uh, I will vote. Can I vote for him? I can vote for Gerhard. Well, I could always just make him my heir and take the land that way. I wouldn't mind doing that. I'm going to vote for him for now. That will make him like me a lot more. Yeah. I'm also going to bribe him. I can bribe him on the cheap. There, he likes us now. If we see an opportunity to take the land, we will. Uh, but failing that, the waiting game is not a bad solution here. Okay. So, other things we can do. We can start composing a book, and I'm not opposed to that. We can worship the ancestors. What god do we worship? We actually don't worship any god. I want to uh, pick my patron saint. Uh, pick patron deity right now. Piran gets martial skill. There we go. Uh, I'd like to worship the ancestors. Do we have many prisoners? If we do uh, no rulers. Yeah, ransom who you can to make some money first, and then we'll kill one of the leftovers. Okay, I'm happy with this throw the kid in the pit. That's not gonna help us though, because it's just gonna get, you know, given to someone else. We're gonna get this notification back and forth so much, aren't we? Yeah, people are finally starting to properly vote for one person or the other. Another thing I could do is just vote for this guy and kill the kid. You know? Uh, I'm not opposed- I don't really care which one inherits as long as it's whoever I play as next. I want to make sure that both kingdoms are inherited by the same person. That's the big thing. Um, oh, we're budding friendship. Yeah, I'm fine with budding friendship because I believe our goal right now is make a friend, which we just completed. And see Realm Prosper. Ah... Uh, could we do external wars right now for a subjugation? No, we don't have the Kazus Bella. It's possible that he's used it in the past, that Dunk Prophet's already used it before. Maybe. Could force vassalization, thousand prestige. I could save up a lot of prestige and start forcing vassalization on people. Maybe. That's a maybe. Hmm. Would rather be inherited by son, says Marinari. Yeah, me too. Especially considering these other people aren't that good. Um, this kid might become good when he's an adult, but the other heir, this uncle, is really terrible. All right, I gotta pick a uh, one of these. I'm going to... I'm gonna see the realm prosper for now, and if I end up seeing a golden opportunity, I'll just give up on that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, pay all the ransoms, get me the money. People are leaving the defensive pact against me, that's always good to see. Just ransoming everybody. Again, you gotta do it in groups sometimes, because sometimes you have a lot of people to ransom to the same guy. There we go. Ransomed everybody who's not a ruler, got quite a bit of cash through that. Is the Paragon of Virtue focus a hundred or, uh, or sorry, a thousand or five thousand prestige, says Hernandez. Paragon of Virtue is piety. I believe it's a thousand piety. Uh, exalted amongst men is the prestige one. Uh, okay, so we have all of that done. So now I am going to worship the ancestors. We'll just sacrifice somebody. Uh, what I want is prosperity and growth for the realm for now. Give me stability and torch this random person. There we go. Got us a little bit of piety. All right, now we're actually quite weak right now because we only personally own one bit of land and it's not our prime land. Our prime land is owned all by a vassal, so we actually have one vassal who's much stronger than us. So I'm worried about factions. Yeah, like these aren't scary at all, but any faction done by Gerhard is dangerous. So I probably want to either stand his good side or get him, catch him rebelling and imprison him. So we have two people we could try to imprison and take land off of. And I might do that at some point. This guy really hates my guts. <sighs> Lots of small debuffs added up on that guy. I could become a coward. Uh, arm wrestling competition. You have 60 personal combat. I have 26. I'm Okay, I'm gonna lose, but I'll do it. Yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. Sit, uh, put our arms together on the table. Third fighter holds her fist still. Yep, we've read that one before. 
We have an arm wrestling comp contest for an entire day. And we've also read this one before of, uh, we can either cheat to try and increase our chances or do it fair. I'm going to do it fair, gain a little renown. Uh, with a loud thud, they slam my hand against the table. Yeah, earning a shower of cheers. Yeah, I'll lose some renown. Uh, and not challenge to a duel that I would definitely lose. I'm fine with that. Want to save your money for in case of a revolt so you can, um, so you can merc up? That's exactly what I'm doing right now. That's why I have so much. I'm spending very little money right now because if something happens, I will have to use revolts. Or sorry, merc uh, mercenaries, just like I did on the last episode. Because we can't fight Gerhard without mercenaries. It's just not happening. Like, he's in debt and doing terrible, and his armies are still already bigger than mine. His maximum armies are so big compared to mine. Because uh, it's all land that I've been upgrading the whole game. Just finished watching your Terraria Let's Play with Brandon. And caught up on the Expert series. Nice. I'm probably streaming more of the Expert series tomorrow, probably. Uh, okay. Uh, my store has come to me with a new idea regarding trade and infrastructure. Gain a thousand, or sorry, a hundred economic technology points. That's really good. What are we at now for that? Oh, right. I want to save up all my points for now for when I get my capital to be prog again, because prog's where I had all my tech. And right now my capital's some other county. Which one is it even? It's this random one with bad tech and barely upgraded at all. I'm gonna hold on to my stuff for upgrading Prague. I'd upgrade it right now, but it's not under my control. I'll just be powering up someone who I might have to fight at some point. I want his land though. In fact, to the point that I am going to scheme and try and discover plots to see if I can catch him plotting against me to use it to leverage to take land. Plus one learning for studying the stars with my observatory. That's a nice one. In my top seven tips to improve a Crusader Kings 2, I actually did a whole tip based around this quest line, if anyone's interested in that. Does anyone know if there's a situation where you do not gain Kinslayer for killing someone related to you? There are a few, but I don't remember all of them. Uh, but there are instances, definitely. Um, hmm... Do I want to compose a book right now? We're quite young. We could probably get a whole book done. You know what? I think I will. It takes a long time. 50 gold up front, which is not much for us. And I'm going to go diplomacy. Marshall's nice, but I'm actually going to go diplomacy for the sake of all the prosperous realm. Think your chancellor can fabricate a claim? Maybe. The thing is, I already have a claim on his land. It's that he's my vassal. I can't just declare war on him for it, you know? I need to find a way to revoke it. Yeah, I'm still trying to kill that guy. I guess I don't really need to be trying to kill that guy, do I? But I could. I could quite easily. I don't want to get known as a murderer. I can't revoke Gerhards, can I? Uh, not looking like it. Yeah. Doesn't do many favors that he's a kid. Yeah. Alright, uh, and do I have- I can still just get these two. The Frog and the Fat. Hell of a couple nicknames. Huh. <laughs> Fox Nova says, wow, I just shift-tabbed on a stream. I've had people try to click things on my screen before and told me they accidentally paused the video. Are these strong claims? They should be. It was my land. Um, if I, whoop, that was a misclick. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. strong claim on, oh, I got a strong claim on that. Don't know how I wound up with that. But yeah, this is literally my land that I just lost in, uh, inheritance and then conquered back from him. Uh, that doesn't matter though. It doesn't really matter if I have claims to what matters is he's my vassal. And so I need to get this high chiefdom so I can easily get the things within it. Uh, however, that would make all my vassals dislike me greatly if I were to just do it. In fact, I'm not allowed to just do it. Yeah, we have a truce. How long is this truce? Uh, diplomacy has nothing there, which is interesting. Did they move where truces are? Because it does not say we have a truce under his diplomacy. 
Yeah, it only says that on my end, which is very strange. I could always kill him to get rid of the truce faster, of course. That's one way to handle it. What's your dynasty? Uh, we are the same as his. Yeah. Uh, I still don't know how to pronounce this shit. Premieslid. Premieslid? Dynasty? And we got a mustering of warriors. I- that's a piddly amount of warriors. I have no reason to keep them. And what do we have him set to? Organizing the army? Good. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm happy with all of these. I am happy with all of those. Um... You used to own, uh, Mycin. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, this land? Oh, was that- Oh, you know what? Yeah, that was part of the land that was conquered by, um, the son we almost got who died of cancer. Which one was that? It was Stomp That Baby conquered that at some point, right? We also lost some of this little bits there. That's why I have claim on that. Um, it's not the most important thing in the world. I'm not gonna fight for it too hard. And check, it's called- I see, I can't read that any better, though. It's got accents I don't know how to spell. If, or how to say. If you give me the phonetical, I'll be able to get it. I uh, spent too much time in your observatory. How do the stars move? That leads to better traits, if you ask me. Also, uh, these people that I could righteously imprison, what are their armies compared to mine? Their armies are better than- Oh no, they're not. Okay. I could always try to imprison them, and if they rise up against me, I kick their ass and I take their land. It would give me a bit of an easier time, wouldn't it? It would. You know what? I I do believe I want to do that. Let's have my retinue over there and ready, though. With some good commanders. Oop. There we go. I'm happy with those. He'll be over there and ready to hit them early. Oh god, a rap battle. Okay, we're rap battling someone. He challenged us. Okay, he's got diplomacy of four. We have 16. That is already in our favor. I don't know why he challenged us. You can change the dynasty name if you want by clicking the dynasty coat of arms and then going to the family tree menu and edit it in the top left. Really? Uh, so I click the, uh, click the coat of arms. Yes. And then in the top left. Uh, this is the right, but there's nothing over on the left. Uh, did do you mean a different menu? Family tree? No. Realm tree? No. No. Uh. Huh. Nope. You cannot do that, apparently. Okay. Um... Right, so what are his weaknesses? So we can go for uh, lustful, envious, shy, ambitious, proud, kind. What is he? He is... Uncouth. I've actually never seen that. That might be new. Um... Brave, trusting, diligent... Cruel, brawny. Ah, none of these. That's a problem. Uh, I'll just go for envious slash shy by calling him ugly because I don't lose any prestige doing that. And hopefully I can win just on the strength of my stuff compared to his. I think he needed the, the DLC. Uh, we have every DLC. Um, Paradox sends me every DLC. You need the customization pack. Uh, yes, we, we do have every DLC. However, uh... Uh, maybe I don't have that one? I don't know. Maybe they just never sent me that one? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. That or it's not enabled or something. We won. Yep. Yeah, we won. And I will just say it's all in good fun. Don't be mad. I don't want to goad him into a duel. There we go. All right. Uh, Chancellor Improved Relations with the Frog. That's actually a guy I'm considering going after right now, isn't it? Yeah, that's the guy I'm about to imprison. Um, we have a 38 chance, percent chance of imprisoning him. I'd kind of prefer it if, uh, we don't imprison him. 
Right, I forgot we can actually get our guys over here ahead of time as well. We don't need to lead that. There we go. 